Hello there, and welcome to my quick video on how I play Daisy as a single player. Now it's worth noting that you're not going to be making any changes to your Daisy game installation. This is totally non destructive in that respect, so even if you get this badly wrong, it will not make any difference whatsoever to your actual game installation. So to begin, go to your Steam library page. Now, right at the top, there is a drop down tab here. By default, this only shows games, but if you click the little arrow, you'll see there is also an unchecked tools option. So check that box. You'll see an additional load of stuff down here, depending on how many games you've got. And you want to look for Daisy Server. Now, of course, I've already got this installed, but this is, applies to you just the same. There's also a Daisy Tools option. You don't need that for this, just need the Daisy Server. So download and install it in just the same way that you installed the game. It doesn't even have to be the same drive. It could be anywhere else on your computer, but by default, it will go to the same place that the game is installed. So once that is completed, you should now have two icons on your desktop, Daisy and Daisy Server. Now notice I've actually changed my Daisy Server icon just to make them look different but it should by default be exactly the same icon as your daisy game but before this all work there are two more things you need to do two more quick things go back to your steam library to find daisy server again right click go to the bottom option of properties select that which will open the general tab and you will see there is a box here for launch options you want to enter this particular piece of code in here. Now I will put this piece of code in the description so you can just copy and paste it if you prefer. But it is just dash config equals server dz, which is in capitals, dot cfg. Close out that box. And we're done with the library, so we can close that. One more thing to do, find the daisy server installation in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and you'll see Daisy and Daisy Server. Double click on that. In here is the CFG file, the config file, Server DZ. Double click on this, and that will open with your default text editor. This is the most basic text editor that comes with Windows. And all you need to do here is give your server a name so it's the top line host name equals and between the quotation marks give your server a name anything you like now i'll just change mine slightly just to make sure we're going through exactly the same process together blue world you can change various other parameters here as well but we're not going to worry about that right now we're just going to be going totally default so close that it will ask you to save it save that file and quit out now all you need to do is remember to start your daisy server before you start the game double clicking that will open a little white box here and you'll see a lot of scrolling action this takes about 20 to 30 seconds not very long and that's it my last line is entering in save process i'm sure I'm sure it's the same for everybody right so your server is now running now you can just start the game in the normal way. When you're selecting a server, you just simply go to, well, you probably already see your server in this window, but uh, maybe it won't be there if you've never connected to it before. So go to your local area network tab, the last tab, and you'll see your server here. There's mine, Blue World. And to connect to it, simply click play. And away you go. And that will play exactly the same as any other DayZ game. It's just that there will be no other players on the server. And when you when you exit the game, all your game, all the game information will be saved in the normal way. Things will spawn in, despawn, exactly the same as they do in any other DayZ game. And that is all there is to it. Okay. Enjoy.